Hey yo, what is up guys? It is Hal here with Gamertech and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a thumbnail from PowerPoint. And we're we're going to hop right into this right into this here. So, I will open PowerPoint up here. And we I'm going you will probably want to pick blank presentation. That's why I'm, that's why I'm going to do that's why I do for all my thumbnails. And then here all you want to do to start is click it with your left click you know what to, you know what to do and then press delete on your keyboard and do that for both of them get them out of there and then you would then you want to go from home to insert and then you see right here well for YouTube I would suggest always using a screenshot from the video that you made or like say you made a call of duty call of duty multi multiplayer video and on nuketown and then that's what i'm gonna do and um just scroll through your video find a good place take a screenshot screenshot that and then use that for your um thumbnail so i'm going to go to pictures and we need i see this youtube call of duty um i Oh, whoops, I don't want that. that. That one's already made. Hmm. Sorry, guys. All of these are made. Alright, guys, I'll be right back with a picture to do. All right, ready, go. Three, two, one. All right, guys, I am back here, and I forgot where I put it. Uh, it's an action here, which, as you guys can tell at the bottom, is where I record my videos and screenshots, and I will pull up that one. All right, oh, whoops. Huh. I need to go to insert pictures. Sorry, guys. Up to the top, screenshots. All right. So first of all, as you guys can see, there's that black part in the screen. And first of all, we are going to crop it right over here on format and crop. And then just click it and then this should change here so it will look different. And, oops, alright, I'm going to crop this down. If you guys cannot see, there was a little bit of black up there. What? Yeah, alright. A little bit more on this side. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, I'll press... Ooh, can't press enter, sorry. And just press crop again. And that should be good. And then, obviously, you will want to make it the size of your slide. Want to stretch it a little bit. And what I like to do, oh, I can't get it to fit. All right, that that's fine. But what I like to do is go to animation. No, not animations. Um, where is that? Um, 
second the design. I can't believe I forget what this is. Um, I'll be right back when I find it. Alright guys, I'm back. Basically all it was is I wasn't... I need to click the picture first. I don't know why I do that. But, um, I like to go to artistic effects. And I like to go... My favorite one is this one right here. Blur, which... It doesn't look good right there, but, um, that's just what I like to do for, because we, because I put text on top of it, so it makes the text kind of stand out a little bit more. That's just what I like to do, and, you know, if people know Call of Duty, they can obviously tell that that's Nuketown with the VMP, but, um, so what I like to do is make a quick text box, and this will do my other video my other channel was named this how to get better in black ops 3 um so first of all i like to make it bigger obviously and most of the time I make it like here I'll do it for you so how to what I like to do is go like that and make this bigger we'll make it let's say that big bold it and then whatever this S me text shadow I like to do that too I think it makes it look better but that and then I'll just do it how I do it make another text box real, text box real quick um, Nice. Better. Alright. Um, better than me. I will put in there. And then make it the same. What was it? Now it's about the same there. And bold. S -E. And then what I like to do for the last one. If you want to emphasize something in it, um, Hot Ops 3, and I just like to make that bigger, so, do that, bold it, not bold it, you know what I mean, make it bold, whoops, Alright, and there we go. And as you guys can see, we can't really see that. We could change the color, but that doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look the best, which just with changing the color, as you guys can see, makes it so you can see it better, but not perfect. Now, a lot of people don't like doing this, but I like doing this. I like to make a box behind it, and, well, this is important, too. You want to take this, and, alright, um, you want to move it forward and oh yeah I'm sorry guys it's right here it says bring forward just do that and now it ooh. I'm not sure why all right there we go I had to send that backwards, but, um, there we go, as you guys can see, it goes in front of it now, and we'll shape this better for the, for it. You guys can, uh, mess around with this, too, if you, uh, want to shade the box a fancy color or whatever you want to do, but I like to put the box, we'll do it just like I made my other one, so we'll do that. I'll put in a quick style. I don't know. Whatever. Um, And then I like to do that. And if you guys like it black, you can keep it black. The text black. But um, if not, you can change it to whatever color you guys would like. So, that, so you basically do that with all the rest of them. 
and that is how you make a a thumbnail in PowerPoint so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that stuff and please for any tips or anything please comment down in the comments for just tips to make for me to for tips to make my better vid my videos better but yeah so don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this thanks and have a nice day